Hey friends! So normally I don't do this. Um, I was driving and I was praying and I felt like I felt like the Lord was like, no, go live. You need to you need to pray over um yeah, just you need you need to pray live. And so I'm like, and I was like kind of wrestling and then yeah, so I'm just here I am in faith. So um yeah, so I'm just gonna let you in, I guess, on what me and the Lord were talking about. Um, and I just really have, I just really have this, like, I don't know what to call it, stirring up, I guess, just on the inside of me about God's passion for his light to permeate the darkness, for his light to uh, uh, come into the world. Um, and in every city, in our families, in our, in our nation, um, as dark as it looks, uh, we don't have to be discouraged because God himself is the light. And so he is looking for, uh, uh, he's looking for us to light our lamps in prayer, um, and for us to be the light and to be the solution. Um, God has no plan B, right? Like we are God's solution in the earth. We are meant to be catalysts in the earth to bring forth his light and the light of his kingdom. Um, and everything that his kingdom comes with. So um, we just going to go in on that and see how God leads or whatever. And we're going to pray, um, about that. Um, so join me like, you know, in your faith or, you know, whatever. And, and, and let's go after this together. Okay. So, so God, I just, um, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are the light. I thank you, uh, God, that your word says that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And I thank you, God that your word became flesh and dwelt among us. And that word was also the light, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord, that the light came into the world, Lord God, in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of evil, in the midst of, 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 uh, uh, waywardness and, and wickedness, Lord, um, your word, Jesus came, the light of the world came into the cosmos, into time. And, and into our sliver of, of time, uh, uh, splitting the cosmos, Lord, and coming, Lord, into uh, this space and time and, and into um, a particular place, Lord. And your light, Lord God, came, Lord God, and your word says that the darkness was not able to overcome it. And so, Lord, I just thank you, God, that you, Lord God, are the light. I recognize, Lord God, that we, that there is darkness in us and there is darkness in our world, Lord God. I recognize, Lord, that the enemy is full of darkness, but so is our hearts, Lord God. And you came, you were not intimidated by the light. You were not discouraged. I mean, you were not intimidated by the darkness. You were not discouraged by it. You were not overwhelmed by it. You were not scared of it. God, I thank you that just in, in audacity and in courage and in boldness and really in power, right? The darkness has no power. And so I thank you, God, that your word says, Lord, that, that, uh, uh, excuse me, that the darkness could not overcome the light, Lord God, the darkness in the inside of the hearts of men, Lord God, who hated you, Lord God, who rejected you, Lord God, who wanted nothing to do with you, Lord God, and who partnered with the heart of the enemy, the most diabolical, the epitome of darkness, the most diabolical being who is full of darkness, who partnered with the father of lies, who partnered with deceptions, who partnered with the, 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 the one who is behind murder, Lord God, Lord, when we partnered, Lord God, with darkness, Lord God, you were still not intimidated by it and you overcame it. And I thank you, Jesus, that you are the light who overcomes evil with good. I thank you that you are the light who overcomes hatred, Lord God, with your love. I thank you, even our hatred for you, God. Lord, you swallow it whole in your light, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that even even as we see, Lord God, in, in nature, Lord, when the sun comes out, Lord God, the darkness has to run. The darkness has to flee, Lord God. It has to get out of the way. And that's why we have shadows. It's because light is shining, Lord. And the darkness has to move out the way and make room for it, Lord. So, Lord, may we just be people, Lord God, who prepare the way for the coming of the light, Lord God. May we be a people, Lord God, who who are open and who are looking, Lord, for your light, Lord God, to come and penetrate and pierce the darkness, Lord, as it did in the first, in your first coming, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, 
that there is no power, Lord God, that is more more uh, uh, powerful than your light, Lord God. There is no sin that is more powerful than your light, Lord God. There is no no demon, Lord God. There is nothing, Lord, that is more powerful than your light. And so I thank you, Lord, that your light penetrates, Lord God, the darkness. In the beginning, Lord God, when you created the heavens and the earth, the Bible says that that darkness was over the face of the waters, that there was void in the earth, that it was empty, Lord God. And 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 um, your word says that the Holy Spirit was hovering, was brooding over the waters. And then you spoke and said, let there be light. And there was. And so, God, we just declare in the name of Jesus we know, Lord God, that when darkness, Lord God, seems to be hovering, when darkness seems to be clouding, when darkness seems to be clouding our minds, when darkness seems to be clouding our vision, when all when we look every which way and it just seems like 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 darkness and, and fury and evil and um, hopelessness, God, and emptiness, God, there where there is a void of joy, where there is a void of laughter, where there is a void of love, Lord God, where there is where where people your word says in the last days people will be lovers of themselves or God haters of God there there will be a void there will be a void culturally and in humanity of the love of God and the love of men Lord God a love of one another and so when we see Lord God these great voids our hearts are aching Lord God with pain and with sadness Lord God and I know it can if we're not careful it can drag us into a place of hopelessness but thanks be to God that your word says Lord in Genesis 1 that when darkness Lord God was permeated everything you were hovering Lord God above the earth Lord you were hovering above the waters Lord God your face Lord you were covering the face of the deep Lord God and so I just imagine like a like a like the scripture said like a mother hen brooding over her um her chicks Lord God you were brooding you were hovering Lord God uh, 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 over the earth Lord God and every time there's a brooding there's a birthing God and so I thank you Lord God that when we see darkness we should not get intimidated but instead we should look up Lord God we should keep our eyes up Lord God looking to the hills looking Lord for where our help comes from and your word says that it comes from you we need to get our eyes up Lord God past Lord God the first first heaven and all these uh, circumstances in the natural past Lord God the second heaven Lord God where the enemy is just running rampant and the principalities and the powers of the air Lord God are trying to have their way but when we, may we get our eyes up to the third heaven Lord where you are brooding Lord God over the earth Lord God and I pray Lord in the name of Jesus that whatever you want to birth Lord God that the light because then after that you said let there be light so I pray Lord God that the light that you want to birth into the world Lord God that that it would be so, Lord. We just declare, let there be light, Lord God, in our families where we see darkness, Lord. Um, and it seems like darkness is what's overshadowing and clouding everything, Lord God. We declare, let there be light over our families, God, where there is darkness, Lord, in our cities and in our state, Lord. We declare, let there be light, Lord God, where there is darkness in our nation, Lord God, and in the nations of the earth, Lord God. We declare instead, let there be light, Lord God. And we ask and we partner, Lord, with what you want to do holy spirit asking lord that you would birth lord god everything that you desire lord god in the earth right now lord in the name of jesus that you would birth lord god life the light brings life literally when we look at the light lord god and how it affects uh, uh, how it affects even us physically, right? The vitamins, the, the nutrients, the things we get just from being in the sunlight, plants and all of these things, Lord, everything needs light, Lord God. Everything needs light, Lord God. And so your light, Lord God, brings life, Lord God. Your light brings comfort. It brings warmth, Lord God. Your light brings healing and restoration, Lord God. Your light brings joy, Lord God. Your light brings fruitfulness, Lord God. Your light, Lord, brings all of these benefits, Lord, and it literally brings eternal life. All of those things that we see that light does in the natural, when we look in the earth, when we when we study science, all of those things are just proof, Lord God, of what your life does for us in the spirit, Lord God. It's exactly proof of what your life does for us in the spirit. So, God, I just ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your light, Lord God, would be made manifest in the earth, Lord God. 
that your light will be made manifest in the earth, Lord, right now in this hour in the name of Jesus, that it will be sh- that it would shine, Lord God. Your word says, arise, shine, for your light has come. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that there would be a rising up, Lord God, of sons and daughters, Lord God, who would keep their eyes upon the light, Lord God. I pray specifically, Lord, for your church, Lord God, who has been discouraged, Father God, and in the place of doubt, Lord God. In the place of, of, of weakness, Lord God, and, and, um, defeat, Lord God, and, and, uh, where they have just been downtrodden, Lord God, by darkness and discouragement. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that your light, Lord God, that they would look at the light of your face, Lord, and that it would compel them, Father, in the name of Jesus to, um, that it would compel them in the name of Jesus. My bad. I pray, Lord, that your light would compel them in the name of Jesus, that it would draw them once more, Father God, and that it would it would cause them, Father God, to to shine, Lord, to rise up, Lord God, with confidence, Lord God, to rise up again with confidence, Father God, and not discouragement, to rise up again, Lord, with delight, Lord, and with joy, Lord God, that they would look, Father, look to you, Lord God, as the father of lights, Lord God. To be the one who um, brings their help, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I ask God that you would compel them, Heavenly Father, to uh, look at the light of your face, Lord God. Your word says, Lord, that when Moses ascended to to the mountaintop, Lord God, your word says that uh, he was up there so long in your presence that when he came down, his face shined, Lord God, that your glory was upon his face, upon his countenance, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that your countenance, Lord God, would rest upon your people, Father, that 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 even in the midst, Lord, of darkness's um, presence in their lives, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just unleash, Lord God, unleash, Lord, your light, Lord God, even in those dark places, Lord God, where they are, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord God, that you would have your children, Lord, to get their eyes up on you, Lord, all over again in Jesus' name, that they would not be in a place of discouragement, that they would not be in a place of doubt, Lord God. But I pray, Lord God, that your light would just shine and meet them, Lord, in their despair. Meet them, Lord, in their defeat. Meet them in their discouragement, Lord God. Meet them in depression, Lord God. Meet them even in the place, Lord God, where they have been in hiding and in secret and and involved in things lord god that are not of you involved in um uh relationships and things like that that are not your heart lord god i pray in the name of jesus lord god that you would rescue your people from the dark in jesus um and so god i just pray lord god i just declare let there be light over your children lord god those who are stuck in the place of darkness god i ask in jesus name that you would that you would shine among them, Lord God, upon them, Lord God, and that just the light of your face, Lord God, your word says, Lord, um, that your your face shines upon us. Lord, I pray that your blessing, Lord, the blessing of your presence, Lord God, may it shine upon your children, Lord God. Make your face shine upon them, Lord, and be gracious to them, Lord God. Give them peace, Lord God, even in the midst, Lord, of doubt, of discouragement, of chaos, Lord, that may be happening, Lord, and warfare that may be happening in their own lives, Lord God. I ask in the name of Jesus that your light, Lord, would just shine and permeate those places, Lord God, and that you would return them to a place of joy and delight in you, Lord God. Your word says, Lord God, that the earth is 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 longing, Lord God groaning lord for the sons of god to be revealed and so lord there is uh whenever there is a revelation a revealing a a piercing of darkness into the light um i mean a piercing of light into the darkness lord there is a revelation there is a revealing that happens lord god and so i just pray in the name of jesus lord against every cloak and blanket father god and and basket lord god that has been uh concealing the light of your children lord god uh every bit of shame lord god i just command every 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 blanket of shame to be removed in the name of jesus i pray that you would just like jesus when you died and you rose again and you you uh ripped the bible says that you tore you rend the you rended the veil you tore the veil lord god 
in the Holy of Holies, Lord God. And so God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would do the same with the same vigor, with the same strength, with the same uh, passion, with the same uh, anger, Father, at the veils that have been covering and concealing your the identities of your children. I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you would rend the veil, Lord God, uh, uh, the veil, Lord God, of shame off of your children, Lord. Rend the veil of, of discouragement and depression off of your children, Lord God. Rend the veil of insecurity off of your children rend the veil of pride off of your children rend the veil lord god of fear off of your children in the name of jesus for your word says lord god that that you sh we shall not lord god put uh uh you shall not put a light lord god uh-oh you shall not put a light, Lord God, under a basket or under a bushel, Lord. But you say, no, light Light is meant to shine. Light is meant to, to be uh, um, seen. And so I pray, Lord God, for those who have just been... Uh, uh, dancing in the dark and and comfortable in the dark i pray in the name of jesus that you lord would compel them lord god that you would draw them into your marvelous light that you would snatch them out of the darkness in the name of jesus and bring them into your marvelous light and that as your word says lord god that we are image bearers lord that we were made and created lord god in your image and in your likeness, Lord. And so it's no wonder then, Jesus, why you are not only the light, but you call us the light of the world. You are not only um, holy, but you call us to be holy, right? When we are following you, you call us, Lord God, to be transformed, Father, into your image, into the image of your son, Father, into the image of Jesus. And so I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God. That there would be a supernatural uh, release, Lord God, of your light, Lord God, over your children in such a way that it would bring us um, bring us forward in boldness and encourage, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that it would bring us to a place, Lord, um, of delight in you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And so I just ask God. Sorry, I'm on live. <laughs> You're fine. So I just ask God that you would just remove um, every bit of darkness, Lord, that cloaks and covers your people, Lord, in Jesus name. I ask, Lord, that you would compel them, Father, to reflect you, Lord, to mirror you, Lord, to mirror the image of your son that we were made to walk in, Lord, and that we would be the light as you are the light in Jesus name. I ask God. Um, I ask God that you would have your way, Lord God. And your people, hi. <laughs> Um, I ask, Lord, that you would have your way, Lord God, in the hearts of men, Lord, in Jesus name, uh, that they would no longer love the darkness, Lord, but would be willing, Lord, to step into your marvelous light, Lord God. Sorry, hold on. Okay, that's everything. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you guys be safe. my bad in the middle of praying and then they cut me off i rebuke it in jesus name <laughs> but we're back okay so we were talking about we were praying we were talking about the shadow of doubt i just kept feeling that um just yeah like praying against the shadow of doubt um and so god i just i just i just pray lord god that your light lord god would repel the shadows of doubt lord god over over your people lord over the church lord god over the earth lord god and for everyone who even doesn't know you lord god i pray lord that you would remove the veil remove the shadows of doubt lord that keep us from believing you lord god that keep us from trusting you lord god lord your word says lord that the enemy is the prince over the power of the air lord god he is literally the one who blinds he is literally the one who overshadows and tries to keep us blinded lord god from your light, Lord God. He is like a dark demonic cloud, Lord God, that hovers over the earth. But I thank you, Lord, that even when there is a cloudy day, Lord God, the sun is still shining, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that even when, like Genesis 1, when we talked about where where, where even when darkness is permeating the, the earth, you are still over it. You supersede it. You are still brooding over it, Lord. And so I just thank you, Lord God, that, that you, Lord God, are high and lifted up and you are seated, Lord, high, Lord God, upon your throne, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that you are the most high you are the highest lord god glory to god in the highest i thank you lord 
The enemy does not supersede your power. The enemy is not your equal in power, Lord God. The enemy is not equal in influence, Lord God. The enemy is not equal at all. He doesn't stand a chance. He doesn't hold a candle to you, Lord God. And so I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would get us to a place, Lord, where we will be so convinced of your love, so persuaded of your goodness, Lord God, that that uh, there no that doubt would not be able. There will be no iota of doubt, Lord God, not one little inch of doubt at all, Lord God. And so I just pray, Lord, that your light would repel every bit of doubt and every little voice inside of us that says that you'll bless others, but you won't bless us, that you love everybody else, that you'll do it for everybody else, but you won't do it for us, Lord God. I pray against that in the name of Jesus. I pray against every just little, the little lies, Lord God. The little lies, Lord God, that, 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 that the little doubts that even tell us that, that we could just get away with sin, that we could just live how we want, that, 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 that it doesn't matter, that how we live, how we walk, how we talk, how we treat other people, how we treat your word, how we treat your name, how we treat the revelations that you even have even entrusted to us, that, that the ways that we treat those things, um, I pray, Lord God, that you would remove from our hearts, Lord, just every bit of doubt, Lord, that, um, you will not uh, give every person, Lord, what is due to them. For your word says that you shall not be mocked, Lord God, that whatever a man sows, that he shall reap, Lord God. So I pray in Jesus' name, Lord God, that if there's any doubt, Lord God, I pray that your light would permeate those places of our hearts. If there's any doubts, Lord God, I pray that you would permeate the places of our minds, Lord God, that your light, Lord, would literally pierce through the darkness, Lord God. Your word says that men, that we love darkness, Lord God, that our affection is bent toward darkness, Lord, that our delight, Lord God, is in darkness, that our, 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 our purposes, Lord God, even are rooted in darkness, Lord God, and in wickedness, Lord. Your word says, Lord, that the heart is deceitful, Lord God, above all else. Who, who can know it? What, what, what salvation is available, Lord God? How can a heart be saved, Lord God, that is darkened? It can be saved when it is permeated and circumcised by the light, when it is cut, uh, uh, when the light cuts into the dark heart in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I just pray, Lord God, that there would be a, 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 a light, Lord God, that would just shine, Lord, so strongly, so powerfully, Lord, that it would bring us to a place of repentance, Lord God. Lord, every time we see throughout the scriptures, Lord, when someone encountered your holy light, Lord God, when someone stood before you, Lord God, they could not bear to try to stand up in your presence, to try to be big and bad all on their own. No, Lord God, they bowed their knee, they covered their eyes, Lord, they recognized recognize that they are sinners. They recognize that they are impure. They recognize the darkness that was on the inside of them. I pray, Lord, that there would be a holy sobriety and a godly sorrow, Lord, that would sweep over our families, that would sweep over our cities and our states and our nation, Lord God, that we would see ourselves for who we truly are. The enemy not only wants to blind us, Lord God, from your light, but he wants to, to keep us uh, from seeing ourselves as we truly are, that we are dark, that we are dark, that we are full of darkness, that our hearts are wicked, that our hearts love evil, that our hearts are selfish, God. And so I just pray in Jesus name that you would move upon the hearts, Lord, of mankind, Lord God, that you would remove the veil, Lord God, that causes us, Lord, to be deceived, Lord God, into thinking you are something other than what you are and that we are something other than what we are, Lord God. And I pray, Lord, that we would see you in, in truth, Lord God, and that we would see ourselves in truth, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And so I just pray in Jesus' name that as we come into your light, Lord God, as you show us and expose, Lord God, uh, 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 expose us in our darkness, Lord God. I thank you that there is grace in your light, Lord God, that your light is not the place where you come to shame us, to ridicule us, um, um, and to, to put us on, uh, on, on display, um, for condemnation, Lord God. But Lord, everything that you shine your light upon, it's because you want to heal. It, your word says that it was your, it's your delight to deliver us, Lord God. So I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, 
that the delight that is found in your light, Lord God, that it would literally deliver us, Lord God, from everything that separates us from you. I ask God in Jesus name. I ask God in Jesus name that you would remove Lord, um, just all the things Lord God that keep us from delighting in you as well, Lord God. And so, Lord, I just, I thank you for your light. And I pray just over your sons and daughters, Lord, that they would stand tall, that they would have the audacity, Lord God, in this hour, Lord God, to be the light of the world, Lord God, to be the city set up on the hill, to be the salt of the earth, to walk in holiness. We can't do it apart from your power. So I pray, Holy Spirit, that in the same way you brooded, Lord, over the earth in Genesis 1, may you brood over us. May you brood even right now over these prayers. May you brood. Lord God over the nations Lord in Jesus name and may you birth that which you desire out of us may you birth salvation may you bring salvation into the hearts of men may you birth and bring light Lord God into the hearts of men in Jesus mighty name that we would no longer walk in the darkness and love it God in Jesus name and I ask God that as your light Lord shines in and through us Lord God I declare Lord that your light through your people Lord God shall shine Lord God in the north it shall shine in the south it shall shine in the east it shall shine in the west in Jesus name I declare that your light Lord in this hour like never before Lord God it'll shine in entertainment Lord God I declare Lord God let there be light Lord in entertainment let there be light Lord God in in uh health care let there be light lord god in uh uh let there be light lord god in every sphere of influence lord in government let there be light lord god in education let there be light lord god in the arts and creativity lord god let there be light in entrepreneurship lord and in business lord god let there be light lord in every which way lord in every How did it see every time I get on here to pray this wants to act ghetto I plead the blood of Jesus over my phone and over this live so I just I don't even know where it cut off God I just declare let there be light Lord God I declare let there be light over every sphere of influence in Jesus name I declare let there be light Lord God over the fashion industry over the arts Lord over music over entertainment I declare let there be light Lord God over governments Lord God both our national government our city government our state uh, our state governments God in Jesus name I declare Lord God let there be light in the healthcare industry let there be light in the transportation industry let there be light Lord God in social media God I just pray God that your people Lord there is no plan B your people are meant to be the light in the world your people are meant to be the solutions your people are meant to be the catalyst for change Lord God the 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 you desire Lord God for the church Lord God to be the beacon of light Lord God to bring forth solutions so I just ask in the name of Jesus that even the solutionaries and the pioneers and the catalysts and those who have a heart Lord God to see change and transformation happen Lord God in their families, in their communities, Lord God, in their cities, Lord God, in their state and in our nation. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that there, that you would let there be light, Lord God, of revelation and wisdom and knowledge and understanding, God, and the fear of the Lord, that in the same way, Holy Spirit, that you rested upon Jesus, like Isaiah 11 says, may you rest upon your children in this hour. May you release blueprints, Lord God, from heaven, Lord God, of solutions from heaven, Lord, on how to tear down strong strongholds, Lord God, on how to destroy the altars, Lord God, of Baal, of Molech, of, of Asheroth, Lord God, and, and Mammon in our nation, Lord God. May you open up our eyes, Father, and just pour out the blueprints, Father God, with light, Lord, that you would just, with, when there's light, there is clarity, Lord God, that things are crystal clear, Lord, like a clear blue sky with just no clouds, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would move, just, remove just every bit of fog and cloudiness over your people. Lord, that causes them, Lord God, to be unable to perceive the new things that you want to do, Lord God. Your word says, Lord, behold, I am doing a new thing. Look, open your eyes. I am doing a new thing. Can you not see it? that your people would be the ones Lord to perceive and be able to prophetically predict, Lord God, what it is that you want to do in the earth in Jesus name. 
what it is that you want to do in the earth in Jesus name. I, where, where people in this hour are hungry for prophecy, Lord God. And I, your word says, Lord, that we ought to earnestly, Lord God, desire the gifts, Lord, desire the gifts of the spirit, especially prophecy. So Lord, I ask that you would pour out your spirit, Lord, in such a mighty way, Lord God, that, that um, there would be a light that even beams from the mouth of your people, Lord God, where they would begin to speak, Lord, be able to speak into situations, speak over and into situations, Lord God, and circumstances and, and the darkness, Lord, that seems to be lurking and looming. And I pray, Lord God, that they would speak and walk in your solutions, Lord, that you release in them, Lord, that they, that, that, that your solutions, Lord God, would happen through them, Lord God, that light, Lord, would not just be something they receive from you, but something that they give away, Lord God, every place that they go, Lord God. The light of your joy, the light of your 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 kindness, Lord God, the light of your patience, the light of your generosity. Lord, your word says that you are the father of lights. Every good and perfect gift comes from you, the father of lights. And so, God, I just pray, Lord, that the good and perfect gifts, Lord, that you have already promised us, according to Ephesians 1, that where the word says that uh, you have given us every spiritual blessing in the heavenlies. I pray, Lord God, that you would make us aware of our inheritance, Lord, that you would make your children aware, Lord God, of their inheritance, Lord God in you, Lord, in Jesus Christ alone, Lord God. And I pray, Lord, I pray, Lord, one of those, one of those, uh, uh, inheritances is the right Lord of revelation is the right Lord God to know, uh, the heart of the father to communicate with you and to know what it is that you want to do in the earth, not just by your word and your logos, but by your rhema, Lord God, by your rhema, Lord God, by your rhema, Lord God, your, your right now word. So God, I just ask in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, that you would bring forth and release, Lord God, your light, Lord God, even in the prophetic in Jesus name. Release your light, even in the prophetic in Jesus name. That, 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 that we would be a people, Lord, who brings forth edification and comfort and correction, Lord God, in our the solutions that we carry in the things that we bring forth in the earth in Jesus mighty name. And so I just pray God that your light, Lord God would shine, that your light would shine. I just declare this little light of mine. May, may we, may we be like little children who just have the audacity to just, to just be free in who you created them to be. And I pray that we would, that that would be the song of our hearts. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. May we not be afraid at all, Lord God, of shining our light, that the whole world may see you, Lord, for who you truly are, for who you truly are. Jesus, you are the image of the invisible God. And then on top of that, for your word, Lord, to say that we are your image bearers. So we are meant to bear the light of Christ. And so, Lord, just as much as when Jesus, you said that when people see you, they see the father. Lord, I pray that when people see us, they see you, father. When people see us, they see Jesus. I pray that no longer that when they see us, that they would see darkness. I pray, Lord God, that we would actually live worthy of the high call that is upon our name. And that is the call of being sons and daughters of God. That is the call of being the light of the world. And that is not, that came with a cost. That call came with a cost, Lord God. And it was not cheap. It was the, the cost of the blood of your one and only son. And so, God, I just pray in this hour, Lord, that you would help us to wise up, to get our eyes up, Lord. Give us solutions, Father God. And may we not walk in fear or timidity any longer. May we not walk in passivity any longer. But may we just do the thing that you called us to do. May we shine. May we not compare. I just break com the power of comparison in Jesus' name. And may we not shine. Or, or attempt to compete with one another's light. May we not attempt to compare with one another's light. I just bind comparison and, and competition, God, in Jesus' name. And I just loose, Lord, uh, unity, Lord God, the unity of the bond of peace, Lord God. I loose it over your people in Jesus' name, that we would be a people who are full of joy and celebration. For God, you are like a diamond. And when the light shines in a diamond, there are so many different facets of a diamond. I pray, Lord God, that we would recognize that every single one of us, Lord, is one of 
of those facets. It's one of those glimmers. It's one of those, one of those pieces, Lord God. And so I pray, Lord, that we would find our delight, Lord God, and our confidence, Lord God, in, uh, uh, that we would find our delight and our confidence, Lord, in how we are meant to shine. How you have uniquely fashioned us to shine in the earth. And I pray that when we look and see how you're shining in others, that we would not compare, that we would not uh, uh, compete, Lord, or try to be like anyone else, but that we would be full of joy. Give us eyes to see you in everything, to see you in everybody, Lord, in Jesus' name. That we would not live from that place of just doubt or discouragement or insecurity any longer. So, Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for your light. I declare that your light, Lord God, will permeate the darkness in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, that we would no longer, Lord, be a people, Lord, who are intimidated by the darkness, Lord God. May we be like Deborah, where she said, village life ceased. Where, where there was such violence and such wickedness in the earth, Lord God. But she said, village life cease until, until I, Deborah, arose. I pray in the name of Jesus that your Deborahs would arise. That like in Judges 4 and 5, that your Baraks would arise in the name of Jesus. That your people, Lord God would arise, Lord, that the mothers and fathers of the faith, Lord God, the new ones, Lord, for the old ones, Lord God, they are leaving us, Lord God, quickly, but I pray that your new mothers and fathers, that sons and daughters, Lord God, of the kingdom would arise in this hour in the name of Jesus and would stand tall even in the midst of darkness and would stand tall even in the face of wickedness and would stand tall even in the place uh, face of persecution, Lord God, and mockeries of men, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that we would stand ten toes down, Lord, on the truth and the power of the gospel, and that we would be unashamed, God. So I thank you, Lord, for your love, and I just pray, Lord God, for a release of your light in this hour like never before. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Okay, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to belabor this. I had to, I just had to, oh, I could like, yeah, I had to get that out. Um, I would love to invite you um, starting November 6th, which I think is this coming Monday. Uh, as part of the Living Worthy community, we are going to start a little online book club. Um, and uh, it will actually, it's actually going to be on the subject of prayer, the joy of intercession, the joy of prayer. So if you want to get in on that, I can give you more details. You can ask any questions you want. Send me your email um, or just DM me, uh, book club, uh, and I will definitely get all that information to you um, if you want to be a part. Um, and I am believing that the Lord is going, like in the book of Esther, he's going to raise up not only Esther's, but he's going to raise up handmaidens, um, like Esther's handmaidens, women who, who stood right alongside her, uh, to pray and to fast and to believe for a turnaround in her nation. And so I believe that, that, that is part of my assignment right now, um, in, in just this season and space of time. So I am inviting you, um, to join me. So again, yeah, Shoot me a DM, ask any questions you want or whatever. And um, I'm looking forward to this. I'm really excited. So I love you. Every place that you go, be the light. Have a good one. Peace.